Okay, I'm just gonna I'm um, I'm just gonna make this really quick um, because everybody is probably wondering what my thoughts are on the Scream Fortress update, right? And uh, so far, it's I mean it's good, you know. The new maps are quirky. It, it got some very it, it got very buggy in the side. It was I mean it was a mess in the start really. You know the item servers were down constantly. It's down right now. You know, it hasn't changed a bit because even before Halloween, the item servers were down. The hat case is good. I mean, it doesn't top the uh, summer one, but it definitely topped the last Halloween, like the 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 last Halloween case we got. You know, spooky spoils. No, what was it? Crimson cash case. That was the one we got that I don't like at all. It's good. However, there's one thing I want to say. The war paint case. Is by far the worst warping case we have ever got in the game below Smithsmith 2020. Now, most of the warpings are really, really mid, which is down, downright ugly due to scaling issues and due to duds like the bonds of warpings. You know, it doesn't look, you know, it's based off the, war, you know, an initial effect that we have in the game, but on a war paint it just doesn't look good because it looks like it's cabbage you know, rotten cabbage that gets eaten by maggots and uh, then we have two other war paints accepted by a new guy thankfully however it was his first war paint and, and it's ha and, and the war paint itself one war paint is just a change of hue of the team colored one that's just red and blue but this one this, this one that got accepted you know they, it's green you know it's just lime green lol and they both doesn't have any textures they don't have a proper fong map it just shows that valve doesn't really care about who they're accepting the items from Do, because you know it's not like boohoo i didn't get my items accepted into the game it's more saying that you know why you know why this war paint out of every, out of, uh, out of, like, all the others you could have chosen. Why this one? That's half-baked. And why two of them? Why not pick one and add another one from another creator that hasn't been accepted yet, you know? But no. <sighs> Alright, it's just, I mean, you haven't seen the Warpaints by yourself. I, I like uh, the Sunriser, uh... Cream, cream corn and uh, the elite grade one. I think it's Sacred Slayer. I like, I like those. Like, if you're gonna add a war paint case, then you should do it correctly because adding really out of place war paints is gonna take away the charm from the game that it has when it's art style and, and stuff for like that, you know? Because oh my god, some of the war paints that we got in this case are just really really you know it's really weird you know they're weird or they look out of place in my opinion yeah uh, i don't know people are gonna say like oh boohoo you should be happy with what you get you know and to be honest no <laughs> we had so many options i mean i could make my own war paint case right now and include like three more items because there's so much to choose from and i feel like it could and i feel like this war paint case can need like another commando grade or like a two other mercenary grades maybe i don't know it's not that hard, really. In conclusion, the warping case sucks. You know, it's just, it's nothing worth, you know, everything is just, it's just samey samey. It's nothing really is new other than the Elite Grade 1 and Sunriser. Otherwise, everything else is just what you expect, really. And it's sad that, you know, uh, like a half baked warp paint can get in not only one but two with one that just has changed in hue two of them can get in the game meanwhile another creator that sits on the workshop i'm looking at one right now called pamp i saw his message i saw his comment of like someone saying like i can bring it up actually someone saying like can you stop making good war paints please you are amazing and he says like i think i will scream fortress 14 is incredibly demotivating which is just very sad to see because i can somewhat relate right even though i know that my war paints aren't gonna get in but when i see the new war paint case and it just contains a half-baked war paint by a guy who probably doesn't even know what a fog map is it just kills your motivation as a creator saying like why should i bother trying to make good war paints when shit like this gets it gets accepted into the game not because this guy doesn't you know this guy knows what he's doing you know he obviously doesn't because you know i believe this guy would not make stuff like this you know i, I think he would actually improve but he's just valve who doesn't have any quality control and he just it's, it's very random of what they pick they're not consistent you know that's what I mostly am 
upset about. It's very saddening, you know, but it is what it is. We got it. There's nothing we can do now. Either way, thanks for watching. This is my uh, Warpaint review. <laughs> but again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, work on the next uh, funny video. So, yeah, bye-bye.